So let's see. Make man. So. Two. Oh yes. Go ahead. So yeah. Ooh. There. So Timon and Pumbaa are about to be eaten. Fuck. And Simba went off on his own. Oh fuck off. God damn it. So what? So what could be worse than a time like this? Boom break! Oh fuck! We uh, can't do that now. Oh yeah, that's right. We can't do that now. So we gotta hold it in. Oh yeah, we'll yeah. have to wait till we're ready for our mid game. It's like boom break, and then you realize, wait. Well, fuck. <laughs> oh, new shields. Yeah, new shield and broom. For uh, that one. Synthesis here. materials. Yeah, I'll do that in a second. Right. Hey, well, let me see. McMansion. There are modest homes, massive abodes, and then there are McMansions, which lie somewhere in between. According to Miriam Webster, these houses are typically built in suburban neighborhoods or developments and are regarded critically as oversized and over and over and ostentatious. So I got a defense boost on the magic boost. Oh, neat. Oh, good. You should be able to make yeah, some done. Now. Finally. You want to put two in them? I'll at least put the bright jam. Do this one. Ooh. Okay, so like hey, Mansions. Hey, don't ask me. You want to make something else now? Like, yeah. McMansions are basically mansions in a suburban area where there's not a lot of like expensive looking oh, homes around. It's basically, it's that one asshole house on the street that's fucking just clearly they're better than everybody else. Ugh. Number two is face palm. Yeah. Then we got an elixir. Yay. Mega elixir. I made an elixir in 1996. First type person who's often low on patience, and you're probably familiar with Face Paul. Mm -hmm. I made an elixir in 1996. Where people probably used other before that. Number three Brain Freeze. Huh. Oh, they didn't have a word to describe that sensation until 1991, apparently. Mm. Before that, the phenomenon of brain freeze went by a technical term. Sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia. I wonder why <laughs> they came up with brain freeze. <laughs> okay, I can't quote the soldier in Good lord! Wait, why can't you quote the soldier be name? Because I need a... It's, it's one less AP, ah. but I get two strength instead of one. Ah. Huh. So you I'm just gonna put on, yeah, I'm gonna do that and get sort of the soldier to ring. Oh, here's a weird term, infinity pool. Mm. One of those weird pools that look like they go on forever. I remember those. And it's the fact they extend over a body of water beyond their edge. Infinity pools create the illusion of water that goes on forever. Offer beachside resorts and even some waterfront homes. These cheap pools have been charming those. Lucky enough to be fair since the word was forced coin in 1991. However, the idea goes back much further. Okay, so only the 1600s in Turkey. Whatever. Ah! Man cave! Yeah. Yeah. That's an accurate one. Or an easy one to figure out, I should say. Right. They finally came up with a name with it in the 90s, but you know the idea of man cave? Mm hmm. Basement, garage, or what they had to hang out. During the 90s, a place where a guy, stereotypically, spends time watching sports, playing poker, obsessing over video games, his buddies earned a clever new name. The Man Cave. Alright. Right, Another AP boost! Now you can put it on! <laughs> <Here>. Fuck! <laughs> yep. Give me a second! Give me a second, I got that puzzle piece. Puzzle's in the way. Uh, this, yeah, this one's a little tricky. Yeah, it looks like the wall because the church screws over a little bit. Whoop! Yeah. Mm, it doesn't really seem to be a higher spot to do it. As high as you get. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you gotta like dash jump. Yep, you gotta Whoa. dash jump it. Damn, right. that's crazy. Don't line up. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it. Wow, this is rough. Yeah. Anyway, the next word from the 90s, Buzzkill. Yeah. Yeah. So Killjoy. Yep. Uh, Before that, they're called Killjoys and Party Poopers. Yep. Yep. Buzzkill is a word that came in the 90s. 
snark. I haven't heard yeah. that word much anymore. Uh, essentially being a, a smart ass. Yes. Yep. It was the noun, but it was an adjective for a long time. It had a noun for it, finally. In 1999. Let's see. Damn it. This is hard. <sighs> yeah, this is... Just angling this is a bit of a bitch. Mm. Damn it. Damn it. The next one is fashionista. Yeah. Yep. Fashion designers and wardrobe stylists. And if you're someone like me, that doesn't really... Oh, oh. damn it! Fashionista is basically the promoter. That's what it is. Alright. Damn it. Oh, technically this one's true. Website. I mean... <sighs> they need to find a word to describe places they visit online. It's internet... Started the internet being big started coming the, big in the 90s. Like the early 90s. Damn oh! Fucking... This, apparently this word got big in 93, two years after the web got unleashed in like Damn 91. It. The web's been around ever this... since me and Coda were born. Oh! This puzzle piece is starting to piss me off. I get why! They put an asshole spot. Yeah. There you go. There we go! Finally! And it's not a corner piece just to piss you piss us off. The daylight anymore. one though. Yeah, it's not a corner piece just to piss us off anymore. Oh yeah, of course not. That's a top piece. Top piece though. Okay. You might want to push that to the. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. looks more right. Okay. Ugh. Chai latte. Uh, Fucking what? <laughs> Are you a cappuccino kind of person, or do you prefer a hit of espresso? Are your beverage of choice? Might have been in the past, it might have changed in 1994 when the chai latte hit the cafe scene. That sounds disgusting. The drink is similar to a regular latte, but it's made with spiced black tea and steamed milk. Again, that sounds disgusting. Yep. Huh! Lime stream! Lime stream? Apparently, I guess that kind of thing also didn't really start till the 90s either. Well, yeah, because you needed internet. Yeah. Yep. That came around in 95. Well, yeah, because because I was gonna say the closest thing before that was a, uh, you know, a live broadcast. Yes. Live stream wasn't commonly used till '95, although Xerox first did one in '93. Because only people with the resources could actually pull that shit off. Battle. Oh. I really want that screamers. The capable jungle. Well, sounds like him was friends are in trouble. It is. This may be a, a new enemy. Let's go after him. <laughs> Man, you're making boring. Wiki was also one. I probably don't need to go into that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that was before Wikipedia actually became, came around, though. There are wikis before Wikipedia. Well, yeah, there were, like, dedicated wikis for, like, Simba, specific topics. Wait. Right. Yes. That was it in the early 90s. <laughs> It's Nala. Don't you recognize her? Simba, Jesus. Well, this can go on for a while. Uh-huh. Nala? There you go, you fucking dumbass. It's oh, yeah, me. she didn't recognize Simba. him either. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was like, why the fuck? Simba. <laughs> you are alive. We told you that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why didn't you believe us? Because... Hey! Uh, Shut up! What's going on here? There we go. God damn it. <laughs> Hello! I can't understand getting scared of, um... Don't worry. Sora, but, We're all friends um, of mine. Like, Donald's so a bird and Nobody's Goose planning to eat anybody I else for lunch, right? Better. Better. Mm -hmm. By the way, eat you guys. Well, are you sure they don't want to eat me? Like I'm some kind of pig? We won't, but you are a pig, right? <laughs> Call me Mr. Pig! Why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a running joke for this world. Could you guys excuse us for a few minutes? I got some fun. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> well, guess we won't know till they fall. Job, Goofy! <laughs> I mean, you're right, Elton. This doesn't sound like Elton John music. Simba. 
You've got to come back to Pride Rock. I mean, they couldn't get Elton John to do the music of this world. Damn it! That's a tall order. That and Japanese involved. I guess yeah, true. That would be very weird to have an American composer work on a Japanese time. game like considering this. Considering how much Western influence Or just get the licensing rights. Then again, considering how much Western influence I guess it's possible. Yeah, I was going to say, you could just get the licensing rights on that would be it. Then you'd probably just reuse the music, though. You probably wouldn't like... That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Hakuna? Retarded. Yeah, here we go, going over some of the hits. Hakuna? Retarded. Doesn't feel the same about the music. Yeah, He's they just the couldn't get Old John's licensing. Something about Hakuna Matata. Fuck, more like Hakuna, Hakuna, uh, Yartatas. Fuck, when you look. Hakuna Yartata, ah, fuck. Is that Freud? Oh, wow, smartphone is a turn. Alan wants to be left alone. Why don't you go cheer your Simba? Hakuna Matata, you understand, don't you guys? Um. Uh, Why does Nala like Hakuna Matata? Because it's full of shit. It's a wonderful phrase that means no worries, no cares. Live for today! Essentially, just sit around doing nothing. Yeah, fuck all. I need to get away from home, goddammit. Alright, let's go, uh. Attack! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go cheer up some, uh, hopefully you resolve his daddy issues. I wish you could just attack people, they'd be like, what the fuck? It was bad off, they'd be like, hey! That's like a barrier shows up and it blocks them off. Yeah. Like, honestly, when it comes to Lion King, I'm probably in the minority where I felt like it's a little bit overrated. You mean the world or the movie? The movie. I mean, it is basically Hamlet. My father's so. dead. Yeah, I think we discussed this when we were on our lunch break fault. last week. Right. When we talked about I how go back. It nothing changed change original anything. in terms of stories because... Well, yeah, because if we're going by originality and stories, there would only be seven in the entire world. This was yeah. our first mega hit. Look at the stars. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, the James Old Jones Archive. Look down on us from those stars. So whenever you feel alone, just remember... But those kings will always be there to guide you. You can even tell it's archived. Yeah, yeah, it's like they didn't even freaking try. Father, they couldn't probably couldn't even get him back. There. I mean, did he die? Or is he not dead yet? Uh, this is James Earl Jones, right? Yeah, it's James Earl Jones. He was in the live action movie, Sing but he is in the live action movie, so he's still alive. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Unless they archived that too. How can I go that would be fucked. I'm not who I used to be. That would be fucked if they did that. He's still alive. Okay. Who you are. I was gonna say. What are you. What am I fighting for? Oh my god. God damn it! Oh, no, fuck this. I'm out. Dad, come you back. Come out now. Father! No! Oh, wait a I'm minute. I'm going back to face my past. I could use your help. Uh huh. Really now, yeah, how many kid. Disney movies have you seen, like, before Lion King, I guess? Have you seen one? I've seen. I've seen Beauty and the Beast. I've seen Little Mermaid. I've seen Aladdin. Essentially, every Disney Renaissance movie up to that point. Yeah, I mean, this was, like, their biggest hit, though. It was, I mean, but it's just, like, it's was... good, but I don't think it was that good. Ooh, and... got Circle of Life. Ooh. But, yeah, but also, here's the other thing. Um, with me, like,. While everyone else was, like, humming, like, a Matata, I was more of a be-prepared kind of guy. Because uh, I just love my vill villain songs. Oh, of course, yeah. It killed Jeremy Irons' voice. It did. At least his singing voice. Alright, I forget if it's Smoothie or Donald as Lucky Lucky, if it's one of them. But, I'm gonna double check. Donald's draw. Neither. No. Neither do, so... I guess we're not that level it, yet. it technically doesn't matter which one I have out. Since Donald didn't get much time to shine, I'll have him out. Yeah, why not? And let's go over Simba's abilities. Yeah, so our limits. I say this this was like their first mega hit. Then again, this came out like right after Beauty and the Beast, I think. So that's probably why. Right. Beauty and the Beast, people were like, holy shit. And then there's yeah. this one. People were like, this is another great one. Yeah. Yes! What did the when did, uh... Beauty and the Beast was, like, 90... 91. Yeah, 91. This was 94. 
Yeah, that would probably explain it because this was my first um exposure to Disney anyway. As it probably is for a lot of people. I mean, it's still one of the top five Disney movies, probably. Yeah, yeah. For, for me, films, for yeah. me it was Beauty and the Beast. That was my first exposure. That would probably explain it a little bit more. That might have been mine. Although it's not my favorite Disney movie of all of all time though. Which is that? That one's move on. Huh. Alright. Fair enough. Well, it, I agree that if we're going by in-house Disney, it's move on by default. If we're going all over Disney, uh, by technicality, I would say that over Christmas. Ah, okay. Alright. Fair For enough. Me, if it's not Lion King, it's probably going to be Aladdin. Yeah, Aladdin's a, Aladdin's a good one. Aladdin, one. Beauty and the Beast, Lion King are usually the top three typically referred to. Yeah. Right. I still have to see at least on Mulan's an outlier, but still pretty good up there. Yeah. Yeah. Hercules as well is an outlier. Hercules, Hercules is an outlier. Good. Yeah. Good yeah, and yeah, the Hunter Rocket Dog. Yeah, yeah, that's, that that's a big outlier. Oh, here's the final one. Shaman. The Shaman, yep. Aha. And they dropped the. They, they have... dropped the Stafford Donald. And Jeez, look at Simba go. He's just spinning in circles. <laughs> Should we show off? Right. I have a limit, right? Okay, yeah, let's. Uh... <laughs> Wildcats! Ooh! Oh my god! Just fucking flipping around everything. Oh, this one doesn't seem that bad. This one's pretty good. He's beat the shit out of everybody. Looks a little rough to control, but otherwise it looks pretty good. You just need to make sure you have people around to beat the crap out of Yeah, exactly. Uh, so doing that, going through the frickin', uh, doing that, going through the frickin' savannah or whatever. You still want to keep both keeper on, or did you just change that? I before? changed it to some whole life. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Get you free strength and faster oh, yeah, faster magic ability. Yeah, faster magic ability. Yeah, faster magic ability. And 25% extra strength. That's a pretty good one for the sounds of it. Yeah. Especially if you really like to use your frickin' summons and limits, that's a good one. Well, summons are drive. Summons are drive, based. Right. Oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, it was the limit gauges up on the top of the oh, right. If you can't do your final attack, the limit gauge actually drains. Well, you can, I just chose not to. That's why I thought it was weird. I was just like, you would do your final attack, the limit gauge would go down a little bit, and then your form would down. I was just like, wait, what the fuck? It took me a while to realize what the fuck was going on. I must have missed the limit bar. So perhaps the limit gauge thing shows up in the upper right. I'm going to make sure I'm not missing uh, any like Basically a timing meter for their final attack or whatever in the limit. Missing the thing? I'm saying I'm double checking to make sure I didn't miss any drops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, and we're good. Okay. <laughs> I love that you just... You like drifting. Pride King, Drift? Lion King 3, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I mean... Pride Drift? Pride... <laughs> Pride Drift. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, apparently the term smartphone came around in the 90s as well. Power gym. And yeah, that's because, you know, oh. technology was being created for cell phones. Oh, basically, they referred to those just general cell phones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The big bricks. 